let's go find another one. Okay, let me try this and load. Okay, so this is a better link. So look at it. Download an open source solution for developers still within the gfrog.com link. Okay, so if you click on this, it brings you here. All right. And then uh, what we are looking for is, uh, look at it. At a factory OSS for Java package management. Remember, we've done Java installation on our server. So you click on get source code or get code source. Right, and there are different versions here since 2020 up to 2024. So for me, I'll look out for 2024 version. Okay, this is fair. January 24th, January 2024. Okay, so I'm going to click on this. Look at it. 25th January 2024. Click on this. And then these are the different links for different operating systems from Windows, for Linux, these three are for, yeah, even for Unix generally, either Mac OS or Linux, all right? So I'm going to click on this one, linux.star.gz. I'll right click and then I'll click on copy link address. Right click and click on copy link address. Then you return to your server sudo widget and then paste the link. Don't forget the directory is inside root opt. Okay, so the tab enter is always a third uh, file. When you list, you have a third file. The next thing is we're going to untar the file. So we run sudo tar slash xbf gfrog so on tar a lot of uh, file within the folder Okay, so we have the file extracted. We cannot do away with the uh, third uh, file. Okay, we have list. We have the artifactory. Next thing, let's change the ownership to EC2 user. So what do we do? Sudo tune flag capital R. EC to user colon EC to user followed by the name of the folder. So we list it is now owned by EC to user. It is easier for us to manage now. So let's see the into the artifactory. The list we have app and var. We see the into app. We want to start the artifact. The list we have uh, a bin folder. We see the into the bin folder. And we list. Look at the file that says artifactory.sh. That's the one of concern, and that's the one we are going to start. But before we start, let's quickly update the server again. sudo yum update flag y. Server is up to date, so we run dot at a factory dot sh start. Okay, so it says started 
you can also check the status. All right, at the factory is running on this process ID. As simple as that, we've installed uh, JFrog at the factory. The next thing is we want to go and sign in and configure just the way we did for Solar Cube. Let's go do that for the factory as well. So uh, we can now close all of this and close this. Okay, I might copy this URL, save it somewhere, or I'll put it on the chat. So all of you can, uh, can use it when it is time. Okay, so I can close this. Let's put some orderliness in this place. So what we do next, we copy the IP of our Solarcube JFrog server and use the port just the way we did for Solarcube. So we copy this, paste. Is it 9,000 this time around? No, 80, 82. I don't forget you have enabled that port on the firewall for the server. So that's it. Our GFrog is up. It is welcome to GFrog. The default username and password is admin and password, everything in lowercase. That's the default sign in credentials. You know, the default one for Sonakib is admin, admin. But for JFrog, it is admin and password. So you log in. And the next thing it asks you, it request from you is to change the password to your own. Okay. So we say getting started. We change the password to our own. You already know. I'm used to computer one, but this time I will have to add a special character to computer one. So I'm adding exclamation mark, and then we'll say next. Password has been successfully changed. Our base URL, look at it here. Can everybody hear me? Are we together? Yes, sir. All right, so our base URL is this. I'll copy that and then I'll paste as our base URL. Next. Configure default proxy. We're, gonna, we're not going to be using a default proxy, so we are going to skip. It's asking us to create repositories. So let's wait for that to load. Creating repository it should show us which of our tools are we using. And we know that it is Maven, right? So we select yes. Maven and click Next. All right, so we finish up. 